Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Vue.js 3 video tutorial, we will learn about known props data. So these are the points of our video. First of all, we will create a, a child component. After that, uh, we will learn what are the known props data and uh, how we can pass them in child component. And we will also learn that what are the props and known props data and what is the difference in both of them. And we will cover some intro question also. And guys, when we are talking about props data or non props data that simply means we want to send data from one component to another component right and uh, before starting with this video i want to share some information with you if you are looking to purchase domain name or hosting then you can purchase it with domain racer plans are just started with a 59 rupees per month and they have various kind of uh, uh, hosting you can use shared hosting or you can buy your reseller hosting vps hosting and lots of other options and features also Go, go their web, official website and just check out all these features. And one more thing, they have a free website builder tool. This is absolutely free. And uh, you can make a website with this tool without writing any kind of code, right? So just go for it. So now let's get, get back to our uh, uh, video. First of all, let me just uh, create a child component. After that, I will tell you what are the props and non props that are difference in between them, right? So let me create a user dot view and we can create here a template and we can close this template tag and we need a script tag also. Let's close this script tag. Now what I'm just going to do, I'm just exporting this uh, component by default and we can put any name like a user and it should be inside quotes now fine and here I am taking a div and I am just closing this div after that I am defining some h3 tags let me create first one and I just need to write here some name like uh, Bruce after that second one and third one we can put here Peter and we can put here Tony the third one right and now we can import it import them in our home component so let's import user from user dot view great after that we can simply put here user uh, sorry we have to register this component right so let me put here components let me register my user component here and now what we can do here we can simply use this uh, user component like this and let me check out and uh, let's come here everything is working fine this is our uh, top or parent component and these three values are coming from child component that's that's great so now what we can do here we can pass some data from home component to user component right because user component is a child inside home component that's fine but there's a two type of the data that we can send one is a props data another is a known props data props data is that data we can define props type and we can use this data inside uh, this script tag we can uh, make their loops and all we can put logics there but in known props data we can't do that kind of things we can simply use them as a tag property or tag attribute right so let me pass a uh, props data and then after I will show you what is the known props data. So let me pass here two data like uh, I'm putting here like item and let's say item is uh, some data and again I'm putting here name and I'm putting here let's say user CMP something right. So the, the both are data but now I am just coming here and putting here props attribute and simply defining here uh, item right and we can put here item as a string because item is a string type of data right so now let's come back here and now let's check out on our okay uh, let me just uh, print this data also like a tag or something 
I'm just putting here item right now this is our probes data and here you can see that name equal to user CMP this is our known probes data right because we used and we defined item as a probes that means this is a probes data and we did not define our uh, name property or name attribute inside probes that's why this is a known probes data right so for a moment I am remo removing from it and if I am just removed this one also from here then you will find that the both data are basically non probes data here you can check that right one more a major thing if you just remove this parent div tag then you can't see this uh, non probes data here you can see that there is a no non probes data here there is a no property uh, such name of item or user all right so now we have another question so uh, that means we cannot use a non probes data without a parent tag no that's not true you can use but for that you have to define a property or I would like to say you have to bind a property bind and with the bind simply use here dollar attrs right just simply put here and now you can see that now you can get this data on item first with the brew bruce so if you just get this bind attribute with any tag then it will attach that one here you can see that now this is showing on third one okay great so what happened this is an intro question so what happened if we use a parent tag also see if i am using a parent tag also uh, tag also here and putting this v bind inside it now uh, non props data will be busy visible on uh, last at three tag also and with the div tag also here you can see that a div and a child also so how we can remove this ta uh, parent uh, props data also uh, if we are just defined a v attribute tag here that time you can just simply use here inherit uh, what we call address equal to false just simply put here inherit address false right now let's see here now uh, I think I just misspell something actually yes right so now we don't have any unknown attribute data with the parent div and it's working only with the child so with that way you can use a uh, known props data and the props data if you still have any confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care